Hello and welcome to another Goliath guitar tutorial. My name is Gareth Evans. Today I'm going to be teaching you uh, the song Photograph by Ed Sheeran. <clears throat> I've just played you a short version of what I'll be teaching you today. You're going to need a capo on the second fret of the guitar, firstly. And secondly, you're going to need to downtune your guitar. I know a lot of people are afraid of downtuning their guitars, but we're downtuning to a D, A, D, F sharp, A, D isn't too far from a standard tuned guitar. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a lesson on how to down tune your guitar from a standard tuned guitar to this tune in. And then also at the end of the video, I'm gonna teach you how to tune your guitar back into standard tuning. Uh, for those of you who do struggle with uh, tuning your guitar, you should check out that video. It should be on the screen now in a link in a notation or again down in the description. Um, for those of you who just I like to hear the notes and tune your guitar. I'm going to play the strings in order now with the capo on um, so that you can tune into my guitar and then we'll carry on with the lesson. Okay, here goes from six to one. Okay, let's go on with the lesson then. We're going to start with the intro. It goes a bit like this. Okay, so we're looking here at bars one through eight. So we're going to start the one to four. You should see them down on the bottom of the screen now. <clears throat> Uh, the sequence okay that's the first two bars it repeats so bar one and two are the same we start off with the open six open one okay and then come to the fourth fret here on the second string okay for the first three notes Okay, after that you play a pinch on the open first and the open four together. Okay. And to finish off this bar, you play the open second, so you've now released it from the fourth fret. And then you play the first fret on the third string, and what you do here is you pull it off. So you just pluck it once and then pull it off and let the open string ring out straight after. So it's... So if you add that to what we've already learned... Okay. Okay, like I said, that's good for bar one, and because bar two is repeated, uh, we're going to use that for bar two too. On to bar number three and four. Okay, they are almost identical to the first two, but the only difference is instead of the open six to begin, you're beginning now on the second fret of the fifth string and everything else is exactly the same. Okay. So that's good for bar three and four. Um, so if we go back to the very start, bar one through four, um, pretty easy. Let's see if we can play it together, okay? Three, four. Okay, awesome, on to bar five through eight now. 
And what we're doing here in number five is the same theme exactly again, but this time we're using that open fifth string for your first note. Everything else is the same. Okay? So that's good for bar number five and number six. And lastly, bar number seven, your root note here is on the fifth fret of the fifth string. Um, the only difference thing, he, the difference here, you're gonna have to lift off that fifth fret on the sixth string, um, halfway through the bar to get to the pull off. Right there, okay? So bar seven and eight aren't the same, just like the the previous pairs of bars. So the seven is what I've just played for you. Eight comes, which leads into the verse. So that is single note on the fifth fret of the sixth string. And then this sequence, so we start off here on the second fret of the fourth string, we play the string and slide immediately to the fourth fret, okay? Do it really fast so that you're not lingering on the second fret, you're sliding into the fourth fret note, not from the second fret, if that makes sense. Okay, after that, you play the fourth fret again straight away, down to the second fret, and then open third string to finish. Okay? So all in all this bar A. Plays like that. So bar seven. And eight. Okay, let's recap bar five through eight together. And we should have this. Okay, so that's bar five through eight. Let's skip right back to bar one, start and play the whole intro, all in all, bar one through eight together should play like this. Two, three, four. We are now into the verse section of the song. Okay, this is um, kind of kind of like the intro. You've got that running uh, melody going through it. Um, but you've got also the vocal line which comes in too. I'm going to talk you through it. A bar nine, um, which is straight after bar eight we did. So into bar nine now, nine through 12 is what we're looking at first. We play this. Okay, that's nine through 12, what we'll be learning next. So we start off, Bar nine is exactly the same as bar one. Okay, just play that once. So it's from bar eight. Okay, bar 10 now plays. Okay. Which is kind of a mixture of bar one and bar eight. That makes sense. We start off the open first, open sixth, to the fourth fret on the second, and then that pinch. So this is first half of bar one, basically, or bar nine. 
Okay, after that, it's that sequence that we did at the end of bar eight. Slide into the fourth fret on the fourth string, down to the second fret, open the third. Okay, so all in all, bar 10. Okay. So that's bar nine and 10 covered. Um, together, they should play like this. Okay, moving on now to bar number 11 and 12, they play like this. Okay, so we're starting with number 11. Um, play like this. So it's second fret on the fifth string, and then a pull off quickly from second to open on the fourth string. Okay. And then come to the fourth fret on the second string, play a pinch with four and two, and then a pinch with four and one open. Okay. So it's okay. And then to finish off the bar, open two, and then that pull off from one to open on the third string. Okay, it's all in all bar eleven, pretty tricky, pretty quick. you've got that, you can move on to bar number 12. Okay, so it's, again, start on the second fret of the fifth. Sorry. It's second fret of the fifth, open first, fourth fret on the second, and then the pinch on open four, open one. After that we play, So it's open fourth string twice, up to the second fret of the fourth string, and then with the index finger, we do that slide into the fourth fret on the fifth string. Okay. So all in there, all together, this bar. Again. Okay, once more. Okay, so that's bar number 12 code. 11 and 12 together should play like this. that but that's how it's played bars 9 through 12 all together should be like this okay it's a lot easier for me to play up to the tempo it's really difficult for me to break it down like this but <clears throat> I try my best so that's 9 through 12. If you're struggling with that, just go back and watch the instruction again. Um, it should take a couple of times at least, I would have thought. Um, so, next. We've just done the slide up there. And bar 13 through 16 play like this. Okay, that's 13 through 16. After this slide, you come to the seventh fret here on the thirteenth. It's not the thirteenth. Thirteenth bar, seventh fret on the sixth string. Okay. So if we slide up in the previous bar, like I said, with your index finger, 
you've got your little finger free here to make this stretch from seven uh, to four, okay? After the seven, you play the fourth fret on the fifth string again, and then the open fourth string. Okay? And then, pull off from first to open on the third string, um, which finishes off bar number 13. So, that's all bar 13 is. Bar 14, is open fifth string, open fourth string, and then open fifth string again. But how it fits in is like this. Okay, I can't play that slowly. It's hard to get the rhythm if I play it slowly. Okay. you pick that up. <clears throat> so that's bar 13 and 14 together. And 15, um, which is a replica of, uh, I want to say bar number 8, 7, bar number 7. So it's like the original kind of melody bit but with that bass note on the 5th fret of the 6th string. And then, Number 16 is a replica of bar number 8, I want to say. So 7 and 8 are a replica of 15 and 16, if that makes sense. Um, the, only other di the only difference is, in 16 you've got the extra three notes. Okay. Whereas in number 8, I'm explaining this right, I'm kind of confusing myself, but in bar number 8 you just stop and then do that sequence. In bar number 16 you don't stop, you add that extra da -da -da melody in there. That makes sense. So 15 and 16 together play this. Okay? So bar number 13, 14, 15 and 16 should play like this. Okay, um, so the whole of the verse so far should play like this. I'll play it slowly. <clears throat> That's it for the first four bars. Okay, next, uh, 17 through 24. Okay, so 17 and 18, the only difference from the first time round on the verse. Is, with that open first string, you've got a pinch now. Um, you've got a pinch now on, sorry, the second fret of the fourth string with the open first, not in the open fourth string, okay? Okay? And then when you get to this pull-off, you play the open fourth string with the pull-off. Okay? So all together. Okay? So continue through 18 is the same. 18 is the same as the first time round. So it's only like two notes difference um, in that bar number 17 as opposed to like the first time round we played it. Okay, bar 19 and 20 play. Um, 
which is exactly the same sequence as we did the first time around, so I won't go through that. So bar number 21 and 22 are next, and you should play this. Like that. Slightly trickier than the first time, so after, after that slide up, you come to um, that sequence like we did the first time. There is six, fifth, four. Straight after now you play the open fifth, so it's... And then you play the open third and hammer up to the first fret. Okay. And then you play, uh, so that's the whole of 21. And 22. So it's... Start with the open fifth, and then you play the open third, and then you play pull off from two to open on the fourth string. Okay. So that's the start of 22, and to finish 22, you play the open fourth, hammer onto the second, and then the open third. Like that. So the whole of 22 plays. So with 21, okay, hope that makes sense, yeah. And then bar 23, twenty three and twenty four are identical, and that is just a replica of what we've been doing this whole time pretty much. Fifth fret on the sixth string as your bass note, and then that melody with it. So bar 21 through to 24 plays like this. Okay. Bar 17 through 24, which is like the second half of verse one, all together should be like this. Okay, so that's it for uh, the whole of the verse. We're now looking at the bridge, bar 25 through 32, plays like this. And it's the chorus. Okay, so we're starting off with bar 25. Second fret on the fifth string is all you'll need. You start off, you play five and then four, four. Okay. And then what I do is I strum down with the index finger but just play the two strings, five and four. Okay. You could just like, you just pluck them if you wanted, if you find that easier. Um, Okay, so after that, another two plucks on the fourth string and then another strum down five and four. Okay, all in all we've got. And then a hammer up from open to second fret on the fourth string and then into the next bar. So it's... Okay, now, uh, bar 26, fifth fret on the sixth string, open third, <clears throat> and that's all it is. Start off with that pinch, and then 
two strums down. What we're doing here is we're muting the fifth string so we haven't got a note. And when we're strumming down, just like aim for six, four, and, and or three. So it's up to you. So it starts off and then two strings. Okay, so that's whole of bar 26. Bar 25 and 26 together play. Okay, play that once more. Okay, moving on to 27 now. So it's 7, 28 now. Okay, so this time. That's the whole of bar 27. So it's just open strings all the way. And what I do is I mute the fifth string with my fleshy part of the finger so that if I catch it, you just get a hopefully not harmonic, but some sort of kind of like dead note. Um, so the sequence, six, four, four, and then strum. Kind of like what we did in bar 25 with a five, four, four strum. We're doing six, four, four strum, and then four, four strum again. But when we're strumming this time, obviously we're muting five, strum, aiming for six, Four, maybe three. Um, it's not precise. It's not. A, it's not. An art. It's not a science. Um, it's an art at the end of the day. So, okay. After that second strum this time, <coughs> excuse me. You just play the open fourth string once to finish off bar number twenty-seven. Okay, bar 28. Okay. okay the, the tricky bit there is that you're hammering it in at the very start to the second fret on the fourth string. So you're hammering in and playing the fifth string on its own. You can play them both if you want. Pretty sure that I've um, I've played them. I've played this like many different ways. I've only tabbed it one way, so you can play it either way. Okay. So the start of twenty eight is the two notes there. Whether you hammer onto that second fret on the fourth or just play it straight, open fifth on that second fret on the fourth, followed by the open third, and then strum down strings five and four with the index finger. Okay? So it's... And to finish off, open fourth, hammer onto the second fret of the fourth, open two. Okay, so bar 28. Try that again. Makes more sense when you play 27 and 28 together. So we're playing this. Okay. That's the whole of 27 and 28. <clears throat> it's very kind of um, subtle strumming and picking in that whole section, the whole of 25 through 28 actually. So I'll play it all together. Okay, so play something like that, it's fine. 29 through 32 now plays. Okay, 29 then. So 
we start off in this position, second fret on the fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string. Okay, we play five, four, three, and then the open uh, fourth string straight after. Okay. And then you come to the second fret on the fourth string and strum down five and four. Okay. After that, open four, strum down five and four, and then open four again. So up on four, down on five and four, and then up on four. All together we should have. Okay. That's the whole of bar 29. So Bar 30. Quite similar to 29, but bar 30. You start off with a pinch on the fifth fret of the sixth string and the open second, and then you play the fourth fret on the fourth string and then the open third. Okay? And then the open fourth and then and then onto the second fret of the fourth and strum f six and four together okay so all in all we've got and then you lift off the fourth string you play the fourth string up like this Strum down six and four, and then play the fourth string up again. This whole time we are muting the fifth string, if you hadn't noticed, we're not getting any sort of note out of that, so if you were to play that, it would sound horrible. Um, the note would be here. Um, but either way, I just mute the fifth string, leave it out. So what we've got is, That's bar 30. Bar 29 with it. Okay, bar 31. Uh, like that. So it's the same theme again. Uh, this time, pinch open six and open two to begin the bar. Followed by 4th fret on 4th and open 3rd. Open 4 straight after. And what we're doing here, after the open 4, we're strumming out the 6th string and the 2nd fret of the 4th string. If you find it difficult to do, because what I do is I mute the 5th string here. Leave like the sixth string out if you found that difficult. And just play, and just play the, the fourth string of the song. Like that. Okay. After that, open four. Open four twice, and or open four with like a strum, muting the fifth. It's difficult to play some of these strings here, so I'm getting confused. It's difficult to play some of the sequence because I'm muting a lot of the strings while I'm doing it. It doesn't really show in the tabs, but when you're strumming down and there's a string missed, that's when I'm muting, if that makes sense. So that's the end of bar 31. Open four, strum down, open four and six with muting the five. And then tap into the fourth string without plucking, tap the index finger into the fourth fret on the fifth string. Bar 31. Okay, bar 32, what we do is we tap without plucking, just like we did in here, we're tapping into here, the seventh fret of the sixth string, to, um, to make that note there, and to finish off bar 32, two open plucks on the first string, the second one with a hammer up to the second fret on the first. Okay, so it's...
So that's bar 32. 31 and 32 together. Okay, you might notice uh, when I play it back, I don't play exactly what I've shown you every single time, um, but this is kind of the structure, this is kind of the foundation of what I'm playing. I kind of play different notes, different strums here and there um, every time I play it. I don't play it exactly the same because, like I said, it is an art. Okay, so 29 through 32, put that in mind when you listen to this bit. 29 through 32, you should be like this. Okay, so that's the last half of the bridge. With the first half of the bridge, I've bars 25 through 32 all together should be like this. Into the chorus now, bar 33 onwards. Okay, so bar 33, pretty simple. Fourth fret on the first string, everything else open, just strum down. Okay. And then slap with your thumb, that's what the two X's on the tabs for if you're not familiar with them. That means slap your thumb for a percussive sound. Followed by a pinch with the second and the sixth string, and then another slap. Okay, the time is slightly difficult, it's not on the beat, so it's the slap comes after the sec second beat, so it's, so it's one, two, and three, four. 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 Hopefully that makes sense. The um, first slap comes on the and of the uh, between the second and the third beat, and the, the pinch straight after comes on the third. One, two, and three, four. Last slap comes on the beat again, on four. Okay, from the main sense. Next. That's bar 34. Down to the second fret on the f first. That's strum down again. Oh, sorry. I do arpeggio here. I don't strum. You could strum. It, um, that works too. I've done that before. But I decided to tab it like this. It's slightly more like structured. We do a strum on the first and then arpeggio straight after. So it's six, three, two, one. Um, with the first fret. F sorry, second fret on the first string. Up to the fourth fret on the first string for two plucks straight after. Okay. And then slap into the strings and flick down on the first string from slide from four to five. Okay. Okay, so tricky maneuver this, you're slapping into the strings and flicking the string at the same time. If this is new to you, you should check out at this website. Go to lessons and then techniques or others, or and then percussive slap technique. There's a series there of like five lessons. Um, I talk you through from the very basic doing the slap into quite an advanced, there's five parts to it, like I said, quite an advanced, like slapping and flicking at the same time. And that lesson there will help you with this technique if you're struggling with it right now, okay? <laughs> Back to this. After that, 
down to the fourth fret again. And then another slap and flip down, but you're doing a pull off from four, two, open. Fourth, second, open. Like that. So all together, bar 34. Okay, so that's 34, 33 and 34 together, play like this. Once more. Okay, next on to 35. Thirty five and thirty six. Um, this first shape here is fourth fret on the first with your middle finger, fifth fret on the second with your ring finger, and third fret on the third string with your index finger. Okay, and so there, them three notes there are accompanied by the open fourth, open fifth in a strum down. Okay, okay, and these slap. Come to this shape and play. So this here is the second fret on the first, fourth fret on the second, third fret on the third again. Okay. This time you're playing like an arpeggio, or you can just pluck them on on their own. But it's five, four, sorry, five, three, two, one. Only then four notes. So it's. Struggling to get to that shape quickly, you just play the first two strings of that shape. Like that. Makes it easier. Don't miss out too much, okay? So this is the same rhythm, this is 35, the same rhythm as the first um, bar in this chorus, which is 33. So it's. So it's one, two, and three. Almost identical to bar 34, other than you're not playing the, in the first, like, arpeggio, you're missing out the third string now, because it doesn't belong to this chord. That's what you're playing. Arpeggio, open five, open two, second fat one. Exactly the same straight after that. Okay. But this time, instead of just doing a, just doing the pull-offs, we're doing a, we're doing a hammer-on, we're doing like a little triplet, and then a pull-off. So it's two, hammer-on to four, pull-off to two again, and then lastly, just pull-off to open. But do it in like one smooth movement with this like thumb slapping. It can be difficult if you struggle. Just do the pull off like you did in the last time we went through this in bar 34. Just mimic 34 if you want. So that's bar 36. So 35 and 36 together play. Play like this. Okay, so we head back now to 33, 34, 35, and 36 all together. This should play like this. Okay, so that's the first four bars of the chorus. 37 now. Uh, 
37, 38, play like that. But 37 to start, second fret on the fifth, fourth fret on the first, strum five, four, three, two, and one, all down. And then slap down to the second fret on both one and five. And then slap after, like we did in the other bars. And then, is repeat of 34. Um, other than you've got a bass note here on the fifth fret of the second fret of the fifth string, sorry. Um, when you played it in bar 34, which was the first time you did it, you did it with the open six. This time you're playing it with second fret on the fifth, okay? Uh, you're leaving out the third, open third string as well. So the finger roll is just five, two, and second fret on the one. That sequence. Okay, so that's 38. 37, 38 together, play like this. Okay, so that's 37, 38 together. Next, That's 39 and 40. So this shape and 39, first fret on the third string, bit of a stretch here to the fifth fret on the sixth string, okay? You're muting the fifth string. So the fifth string is muted. So from the sixth, fifth, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so the whole of 39 plays. Drums come on the one, the and between two and three, and then the four. So one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. That makes sense. After that, 40. Fifth fret here with the ring finger on the sixth string. Fourth fret here with the index finger on the second string. So there, we play them both together. Hammer up to the fifth fret with the ring finger on the second string. Okay. Play the open first then. And then that hammer up again on its own. So it's. And to finish off, down to the fourth fret of the second. Play the second and the first. So all in all. Okay, so bar 39. Should notice um, too that in bar number 39, I don't strum them all the way. I gradually like decrease the like um, uh, overall sound. So it's like I'm strumming hard to start, and then I strum gradually softer and softer. So it's, bring the whole dynamic of the song down at that point. Okay, so that's 39. And 40. So all in all, 37 through 40 should be like this. So that's the whole of the chorus. I'll play it all for you now um, with the lead in. Like that. So it goes. So that kind of completes the chorus. I, one thing I do want to um, go into the next couple of bars, um, because adding percussion here, uh, 
that's kind of the, the bit linking between the end of the chorus and excuse me the beginning of verse two so all it is is we're, we're using the melody that we did in the very beginning but we're, we're having thumping in it now this is the wrist thump which kind of replicates a bass drum and the slapping kind of perseveres there too so it, it gets a little more more tricky a little bit more tricky leave out the percussion if you don't like it or if you're not able to play it and bring it back at another um, play it again once you've learned the whole arrangement come back and add in the percussion afterwards that's the best way to learn percussion okay so to begin 41 and 42 it's basically you play the open six with a thumb okay open one fourth fret on the one and then the open one again but the second time you've got a slap into the strings with a flick on the open one okay you've got to be very precise Okay, after that, open third, sorry, open second, and that pull off from one to open on the third, but instead of plucking the third, it's slapping and flicking down, like that, so it's, okay, so that's bar number 41. Okay, 42 begins exactly the same. Um, the first four notes, okay, so. And then to finish off, that sequence there, which we've done a few times, so that's the second half, 42. I won't describe it. We've done that a lot of times now, so. Okay, the only thing to, remember, to try and focus on here when you're doing this slide up and down, Try and mute all the other strings because we've, we've just been playing open strings the whole way up to this point. You don't want, you want all the rest of the notes to die dead so they don't ring out and all you hear is, okay, that. Okay, so if I can just illustrate that for you. Bar 42. What I do, I use, when I'm doing that slider, I use the fleshy part of my ring finger here to mute the rest of the strings, or the first three strings from, from sounding out. So it's... Okay, and obviously my thumb having slapped mutes the five and six. The only time you have to mute all the other strings from ringing out, the rest of the time, the whole song, you're literally letting everything else ring out. Just at this point here, it the dynamics dictate that everything needs to die and and just that melody needs to be ringing out, okay? Hope that makes sense to you. So let's re recap now 41 and 42 plays like this. Okay? So now we're in verse 2. see it's almost a replica of <clears throat> the first verse but we've got the percussion in now so bar 43 to begin um, is exactly to what we just played in bar 41 okay <clears throat> it's just that with a thump to begin and then the two slaps <clears throat> on the open first string there and that pull off <clears throat> excuse me on that pull off there on the third string. Okay, 44 begins exactly the same. Okay, thump in and then the slap. And then this time, instead of just playing nothing like we did in bar number 42, we, did, we muted everything other than that slide. In this time through, in bar 44, we've got another slap down on that one there. <coughs> Excuse me. So the whole of 44, Okay, so this, this thumps and two slaps stay consistent. 
So 43 and 44 together play. Okay, 45. Okay, again, run them with the same thing. It's thump when you start on the second fret of the fifth, and then that pull off, <clears throat> which is what we did in the first instance of the verse. After the pull off, you play the open uh, fourth string again, and then do the slap and flick the first string open. And then that sequence there, so. Okay, <clears throat> the open first with a slap, second string and then the third string on the first fret with a pull off. And then bar 46, so it's, that sequence again, a four kind of note sequence at the beginning of the 46. Thump with a second fret on the fifth, open first, sec second, second string on the fourth, and then slap and open first again. And then, that sequence there, two open fourths, slap down on the second fret and flick Slap down into the strings and then hit flick the second fret and the fourth, sorry. And then that slide from two to four on the uh, fifth string. To all in all this bar. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be played. So, <clears throat> excuse me, bar 45 and 46 together. So to recap, bar 43 to 46 should play like this. Okay, 47 and onwards. Uh, 47, 48 are pretty easy actually. It's thump into the body with 7th fret on the 6th string. Then fifth fret, sorry, fourth fret on the fifth string. And then slap and flick the open four. And then slap in and flick down this third string, first fret and pull off to open. Like that. Okay. And then <clears throat> that's the whole of bar 47. Okay, so bar 48. Okay, thump into the body with the open fifth. Okay, and then slap and flick the open fourth. You should move everything with the left hand, everything else apart from the fourth. Okay, on that slap. So it's. And then do the same again on the open fifth. Okay, so it's. <clears throat> like that. So the 40, so that's 48. If you add that to 47. Okay, now 49. Okay, <clears throat> it's very similar, if not identical, to what we've been playing. Um, but you start on the fifth fret of the sixth string with a thump into the body. One, second fret on the fourth, and then one again with a flick. And then open two, flick down on the third string, pull off two open on the first. Sorry, from one to open on the third string. <clears throat> okay, so that's bar 49. Bar 50, 
Start the same thing again, first four notes, and then that sequence again, which is what we did in bar 44. Okay, so all in all, okay, that's bar 50. So bar 49, I've hit it together. Okay, 47 on 47, 48, 49, 50 together. I should play this. Okay, so that's <clears throat> like this um, the whole of the first half of verse 2 anyway. 43 to 50 uh, have been covered now. So next, looking at bar number 51 to 54. Okay, that's uh, the first two bars. So 51, this is what I've just played there. Okay, that's <clears throat> like this, the general, um, uh, like stock part that we're playing now. Um, <clears throat> bar 51, so that was a repeat. And then 52. Okay, so thump of the open six. And then two open four. Okay. And then slap down with the open four. <clears throat> okay, next. So we slide from three to five on the third string. Okay. And then the third fret on the third string and then slap down and play the open third like that okay so we've got and then to finish off bar 52 you play the second fret <clears throat> on the uh, fourth string and that leads into the very start of bar 53, where you play the pull off from, from that to open, but then you, with the beginning of, the, of bar 53, second fret on the fifth with a thumb. Okay, so that kind of merges into one sequence. Okay. Okay, so that bar 51, 52 together should play a like of this. <clears throat> okay, so 53, 54, continue. Okay, that's exactly the same as we played it in the previous time. <coughs> Okay, the same thing as we did both times with the thumping and slapping, okay? So this time, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave 53 and 54 because that kind of makes sense. I'm repeating myself if I, I teach that. Bar 55 and 56. That's it. That's bar 55, 56. We've got the seven on the sixth with a thump, and then four, fourth fret on the fifth string, and then the open fourth string with a slap. And then the open fifth. The open fifth straight after <clears throat> um, that. Um, okay, straight after that, you play a slap on its own with no flicks. And then you play the open third and hammer on to the first. OK, 
Okay, after that, so that's the whole bar 55, 56. Is that. Same as what we did like the first time, but we've got the thumbs and slapping. Start off with the open fifth of the thumb. Open third. Okay. And then second fret on the fourth and slap. Pulling off to open. Okay. And then to finish, open four, hammer on. <clears throat> and slap, you can just hammer on and slap, or like I do sometimes, hammer on and flick at the same time on that second fret on the fourth. Followed by open third string. Okay, so all in all, 56. Okay, so that's 56, so 55 with it, play like this. Something like that, and 57. Okay, which is a repeat of uh, bar 50, 50, bar 50 I think it is. <clears throat> um, or even it could be 49. Yeah, it's probably 49. It's not on my screen at the moment, that's why I'm confused. I think it's 49. <clears throat> okay, that fifth fret on the sixth string root note with the rest of the melody and percussion. We're into bridge two now. That's the bridge. I'm not going to say too much about this bridge because um, the pretty, pretty much the structure of what you play with your right hand is exactly the same. Um, the only thing that's different is that the beginning of every one of the uh, bars, you've got a thump with a bass note. Okay? So bear that in mind. And also, when I said before we were strumming, as in... that was the bridge the first time around. Instead of the strums, what you're doing is just slapping and strumming at the same time. You're strumming the same strings as I um, <coughs> as I said last time, but this time you're slapping. So the first bar, bar 59, play like this. Okay. That's bar 60 again. It's just... Replacing the downward strum with the index finger with a slap and strum, okay? And bar 61. And then 62. And then 63. 64. 65. Okay, and then bar 66 is exactly the same. It's the end of bar 65 is there. Bar 66, the <clears throat> tap with the left hand. No, no percussion at all in 66. <clears throat> so bridge two is almost identical. The only thing that you're adding is a thump. Like I said, the beginning of every, every bar other than the very last one. And you're slapping with every strum down with the index finger. Okay, so that's pretty much as, <clears throat> without taking another 20 minutes to describe the whole of how we go through that, just um, that's going to have to do it, I'm afraid. So cor chorus two, exactly the same as chorus one. Um, the only difference is, at the end, I'll play it through for you. OK, 
Okay, them last two bars on that shape. Um, they're slightly different. So 73 is where it, where it comes into here. Bar 73. So you do the first strum down, and then the small strum down, and then you play a six strum six. Okay, so it's strum, strum, six, strum, six. Okay, that's 73. 74 plays. So it's strum, thumb, thumb, strum, thumb. So it's one, two, one, one. It's the beginning of 74, so. And that's the end of 74. Open first. Slap in and strum down the open first and hammer up. So the end of 74. Okay, so that's 74. 73 and 74 together, play like this. Okay, what I sometimes do in there is add little slaps in when I'm strumming. They're not really that important, I um, don't think, but... Um, but you could do if you wanted to. I haven't put them in the tabs, they're not really that important, but um, I sometimes do, that's all. Okay, so that's the whole of Chorus 2. Sorry, the first half of Chorus 2. The second half of Chorus 2 is... Okay, 75 to 78 are identical to each time that we play it. 79 now, instead of doing this time we're doing. Okay, so we're coming up here to the ninth fret on the sixth string and the seventh fret on the first string, and we're just muting the fifth and strumming through all of them. And then slap. And then coming down here, second fret on the fifth, fourth fret on the first, and playing that pinch and then slap. So it's okay, and then continuing. Um, continuing through uh, the rest of the thing. So seventy nine and eighty together. And 81, um, we do the same as uh, 73. And then 82 now, almost identical to what we kind of did in the intro. There's only one kind of note different, which leads you into the middle eight, by the way. So. <clears throat> Start off in here, 4th fret of the 2nd, 5th fret of the 6th, playing both together, hammering up to that 5th fret on the 1st, 5th fret on the 2nd, sorry, with the open 1st straight after, and then again, that sequence straight after again, and this time instead of doing the, the 4 on the 2nd and open, you play the 5th on the second and open. So it's the same note, but. Okay, and that leads you to the end of Le um, Chorus uh, 2. That kind of, uh, kind of does it for this one. What I'm gonna do is like, into the middle part now. Okay, 
something like that. We're starting off on the 2nd fret, 8 bar 83 through 86, 2nd fret on the 5th string, play it, and then slap and strum strap there. And then thumb again, strum again with the slap, and then thumb to finish. And all in all we've got Okay, and so that's by 8-3, eight, 8-4, eight, so it's 4th fret on the 2nd string with the 2nd fret on the 5th, play them both together, but slide up to the 5th fret, slide up to the 5th fret on the 2nd uh, string, followed by the open 1st, okay? After that, you slap down on the 4th fret of the 2nd string, slap down and strum, and do another slide up, followed by the open 1st. So it's... And to finish off, play the 2nd string on the 5th fret, and then the open 1st. Okay, so that's 84. And 83 and 84 together go like this. Eighty-five now goes. Um eighty-five and eighty-six like that. So eighty-five is almost a replica of eighty-three. Same sequence to the right hand, you got the Fifth fret on the sixth string now as your root note, and then the slap and strum again um, on the second and third string open. The same rhythm, thumb, and then slap and strum, and then thumb, slap and strum, thumb to finish. So a whole of 85. Okay. 86 now. Sorry. So it's this position. Um, fourth fret on the second, fifth fret on the sixth. Playing both with a hammer up. And then the open one. And then slap and hammer up. Like that. Sorry, it's. You don't play the open first at the end there, you play the fourth fret on the first. So it's and then down to the second fret of the first, slap in and flick it, and then back up to the fourth, okay? Like that. So all in all, 86. Okay? So the whole of this section so far, 83 through 86, play. Play 87 now. The same rhythm as we've been doing. Open six as your, as your root note. And then the slap and strum with, on the fifth fret of the second string and open third. Okay, that's 87. 88 now. Sorry. So it's 2nd fret on the 1st string, 4th fret on the 2nd string. And what we're doing is we're playing them with the open 6, but we're sliding up from 2 to 4 on the 1st and 4 to 5 on the 2nd, like that. Okay, so open 6, 2 and 4, sorry, open 6, 1 and 2, and then 
play them again in this position, one and two on their own. Okay? Followed by... Again, you do the slap again, but instead of the open six, you play a slap with it. Okay? So all in all, 88 so far. Okay, and to finish off, one slap and flick down in this position. And then to this position, actually in the tabs, it's written like this. So it's second fret on the first, fourth fret on the second, third fret on the third, second fret on the fourth. You can use that shape if you want. You're gonna have to for the next couple of bars. So even if you wanna just hit them last two notes there or come to this shape, it's up to you. Either way, it should sound a bit like this. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's the way I did it in the interpretation. Okay, so that's 88. 87 and 88 together should play. And then 89. Uh, 88 and 9 is open 5 and then So it's, it's thumb on five, so open five, and then in this shape again, that I just described here, there, um, it's, that's 89, so it's thumb, one strum on its own, down, and then one, two, three, to finish off. And then to Bar 90, we've got another one, two, three, four, five strum downs. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, four. If that kind of makes sense here. So bar 89, one, two, one, two, three. Bar 90, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Bar 87 through 89 then should play like this. And back into the chorus. Okay, so that's the whole of the middle. Um, Hopefully I did that justice explaining it. The only other part now is the outro. The next chorus is identical to the previous chorus. It's like double the size of the first chorus um, with the um, halfway through the second, if that makes sense. The very last part now is the outro. Okay, so the outro starts the very end of chorus three. Um, starts on bar 106 okay so that comes just before um, you start the outro 107 kind of thing if that makes sense so bar 105 and 106 together when you come to this chord at the end of chorus 3 okay instead of playing instead of playing you've got Open four, I hammer on to the second fret and four, though you can just play it if you want. And then the last note is the fourth fret on the uh, fourth strip. Um, so that's one of five, one of six together play. One of seven starts then the outro section, uh, 
section. Okay, 107 is just an open sixth string. So, 108. That sequence there. Open sixth with the second fret in the four, fourth. Hammer up to the fourth. And then play four straight after it. Okay, after that. You play the you play the fourth fret and the fourth slide up to five. Okay. Back down to the fourth fret for one, and then play it once and pull off to second, pull off to open. Okay. So it's that makes sense. That's 108 together. 107, 108. Okay, moving on now, 109 to 110. Kind of similar. Yeah, 109, open five with a fourth fret on the fourth, and then open five, and then second fret on the fourth fret after. So that's 109, bar 109. Bar 110. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> almost identical to 108. You got the open fifth for your root note now instead of the open six, as you had in 108. So that whole part is on the fourth string is identical. Okay. But to finish off, instead of doing the two pull-offs, you do the play on the second fret, hammer up to fourth, and then pull back off, and then pull off to open to finish. Okay, so it's... That's bar 110. 109 and 110 together. Okay, so move right back to 107 through 110, plays like this. Okay, 111 now. So, second fret on the fourth, sorry, second fret on the fifth, fourth fret on the fourth. Play a pinch five and four together, and then um, oh, second fret on the fifth, and then second fret on the fourth straight after. Like that. That's bar one, 11, 112 now. It's exactly the same as 108, but instead of the open six, instead of the open six as your root note, you've got the second fret on the fifth. Okay, like that. If that makes sense. That whole sequence is exactly the same. The only other note, other note difference is the first root note. And then, so that's 110, 11, 112, 130 now. Sorry. Open four with the fifth fret and the sixth. Okay, that's the whole of 113. So from 111 then, let's go from here. Okay, so to finish off the whole song, bar 115. That sequence there. Fourth fret on the fifth string, hammered up to the fifth, then the open fourth. Okay? 
So you do that twice. And then just play the fourth fret on the fifth string and then the open fifth again. Okay, so that's 114, 115, just the open sixth string. That concludes the lesson. I'll just recap 111 through 115. That's it. So um, hopefully you got it from that. Um, I'll just recap this very last outro. session for me but I hope hopefully I've taught you um, everything um, from start to finish all 115 bars of it so thanks for watching and thanks for paying attention this long and listening to my voice and stuff um, so uh, that's it um, hope you enjoyed the lesson I'll see you again in the next one bye for now